Here is a program that I find very useful for keeping my financial house in order. It's Quicken. And here you can run a uh, check register with no question of having bad math cause you to have a, uh, an over, a, uh, a lower bank balance than you expected. You can also keep track of your investments there. You can find out uh, what your gain or loss has been from a certain time until now. You can also have it set up so that it tells you when each recurring payment, like your mortgage or your water bill or your uh, dumpster bill, uh, is due every, every month. And it will tell you when that happens and then you can make that entry in your in your uh, check register and either print out the check or if you have online banking simply with one click tell your bank to issue the check to the payee and then of course there is your email program most people uh, buy a computer to start off to send and receive email and there are many programs available to do that. One comes with uh, Windows, Outlook Express. I choose America Online, which uh, brings me my daily dose of uh, jokes, uh, political statements, etc., and allows me to answer back. So that is a sampling of the programs on my computer or yours. One more thing before we get into some details on some common operations. The, uh, one of the early questions of new users is, how do I turn this darn thing off? Well, to stop, you got to start. You click Start, and you click Turn Off This Computer. And then a window comes up which allows you to put it in standby, turn it off, or turn it off and then immediately turn it back on again, which is sometimes necessary with Windows when it gets cranky. So now I'm going to talk some more about some of those common operations. And to be instructive about this, I'm going to use the drop-down menus at the top of most all Windows programs. These are these things up here. I suggest that you go home and really use the drop-down menus on the programs you are using or you are thinking about using. There is a lot of information there. Uh, the first one is usually File, the next one is usually Edit, and the last one is usually Help. And I'm going to start with the last, Help. Now, drop-down menus are different program to program, and the program that I'm going to use to start with the Help menu is on Quicken, because that is the most generic. When you go to any one of these words up here at the top and click on it, a drop-down menu opens and you have things that you can select from there. So let's start at the Help drop-down menu. And the first item, which is where we're going to start, is Quick and Help. When we click that, a new window opens, which I can grab at the top and pull up here, and it opens with Contents. And each one of the, these items has a wealth of information about Quicken how Quicken works, how you use it, how you do specific things. If I click the little plus sign, I get more details like, well, getting started. Over on the right, tell me about setting up Quicken. There's quite a bit to read. And there are places to go when you don't understand what you're reading. 
Quicken matches your profile with categories what, that you may want to use. You see it's underlined? You can click Categories and tell me about categorizing transactions. It explains what categories are. And then you can go back to getting started and read the whole thing. That's one way that information is presented in a Help drop-down menu, a table of contents where there is lots to read. The other way is in an indexed, something that is alphabetized, that you can search. To illustrate that, I am going to use the drop-down menu in Internet Explorer. Because when you look at that drop-down menu, the first choice is Contents and Index. So you have a choice of the contents, organized as you would find things in the front of a book you were exploring, and also you find an index organized alphabetically as you would the index in the back of a book. So if you wanted to look up a particular thing of which you knew the name, like cookies in a browser, you type that in, you pick a topic under cookies, and you display it, and it gives you a whole bunch of stuff to read on that particular subject. You also can go to search and you can type in a keyword to find that. Uh, let's try cookies again. We'll list the topics. Aha! Deleting a cookie, understanding cookies, which we saw before, uh, understanding privacy reports, different ways to get at the same information. So I recommend that you go home and spend some time reading things that you find on your help menu. Most of the things that I teach here at the Seniors Computer Group I learned by reading the help menu. Now let's go back to the first couple of things on those drop-down menus and we'll start with file. And for that I'm going to stick to uh, Microsoft Word, but I'm going to open a new document. So if I click File and then click New, I have a choice of different kinds of new documents that I could put up. I'm going to just put up a blank document. And there it is. Now I could type a letter. I could uh, make a uh, brilliant outline of the, my next course. I could do all sorts of things on this document. But now suppose that what we want to do is to open a document that is already in the computer, one that has been saved before. Well, in that case, instead of going to File New, we go to File Open. And it puts up the Open window. And there's a lot of stuff on this Open window which you need to look at and think about before you go madly clicking here, there, and thither. And you need to look at what it says. It says, look in my documents. Right now, if I pick something from here, it, will, it is something that is in the folder, my documents. That's where computers usually start out guiding you when you go to look for something. But if you don't like my, if you don't want to look in my documents, you can go down one level to documents often used. Now you are looking in my documents, documents often used. See, documents often used is up here at the top. And now you're looking at the folders that are in documents often used. If you don't like that, you can go up one level. Here, there's a little drop-down window that says up one level when I hover my mouse over this symbol which has an up arrow or if if and if I go back up 
well no let's let's leave it at that let's go up to my documents we double click that and then we're going to go down to documents often used and double click that now in documents often used I have a folder called teaching packages it's down here alphabetically under T if I double click that it puts teaching packages up at the top now if I look at the window hierarchy of what I'm looking at I'm looking at my documents in my documents I'm looking at the folder documents often used and in the folder documents often used I'm looking at the folder teaching packages and now I can see all the there are some other folders in in that teaching packages folder but there are also and oh and one of those other folders is beginners O 2 n for November that is something that I put together way back when and in it is a folder is a document a Microsoft Word document this tells you the type of document it is this tells you how big that document is and this tells you when it was last saved or modified now if I double click on that the document beginners and other endangered species or beginners and other endangered is actually the name of the document is open so that's two of the uses of items in the file drop-down menu new and open 